In a few of my recent videos, I covered some creepy Reddit accounts that you guys seem to like. I found a few more that don't have enough content for a full video alone, but combined, this could become some sort of series. Let me know what you think. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. And oh my gosh guys, I'm not usually an RPG fan, but this game has really taken my attention since I last spoke about it. The revolutionary RPG game Rage Shadow Legends is the most immersive gaming experience you'll find on a smartphone, to the point where it compares to console and PC games. The game is totally free, and features an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Look how crazy the level of detail is in these champions. Raid is getting big real fast, so be sure to get in on this in time for the upcoming special launch tournament with crazy prizes. This game has practically become an obsession of mine. Make sure to join my clan too so we can play together. Just search for Scare Theater. Go to the description of this video now and download Raid Shadow Legends only through my link to get 50,000 silver immediately and a free epic champion, courtesy of the dev team. Having a stalker can be scary. It's only a matter of time before they know everything there is to know about you, and they're near impossible to get rid of. This Reddit account gives us a look into the mind of a psychotic stalker. Daryl Pratt's first post was made on May 2nd, 2016 to the Legal Advice subreddit, and it was simply titled, Can I get in trouble for sending a girl love letters? Unfortunately, we can't see what the post said since it was removed by the moderators, you can get a pretty good idea by reading the comments. They're filled with people telling him to leave this girl alone and get professional help. Some of the comments indicate this girl is some sort of social media celebrity that blocked him. By the few comments that are still on this thread from the original poster, we can see that he's clearly not sane-minded. Aside from the first post, Daryl Pratt made four others, most of which were also removed by moderators. In all these posts, everyone in the comments is telling this guy how creepy he's being and expressing their fears for the safety of this girl. All the while, Daryl seems to be totally unaware of how strange his behavior is. He claims to have no idea why he was blocked, and even mentioned that he's thinking about threatening suicide to get her to talk to him. You can particularly see how little of a grip he has in reality by the way he references The Notebook and Game of Thrones to justify his actions. Once Daryl Pratt's account started getting more popularity on another Reddit thread, he got into an argument with someone who mentioned that she probably already has a boyfriend. This made Daryl very angry and sent him into denial. It broke his heart. One of his final comments read, I'll most likely be dead tonight, so that should make her extremely happy. Daryl never made another post after this again. Some people think he killed himself, and others think he was just a troll. I'm leaning more toward the latter. This next account follows the story of a Redditor who let his curiosity get the best of him and went on the trip of a lifetime. Flip and Flop has only made one post, and it was on the drug subreddit in April of 2017. He explained that he got his hands on Datura and wanted to know how much he should take. For those of you who don't know, Datura is a powerful plant hallucinogen known for putting the user into a state of delirium, where they will experience full-on hallucinations that are indistinguishable from reality. Unlike other more well-known hallucinogens like LSD and shrooms, which are generally safe, the Tura is incredibly dangerous because of its toxicity and tendency to cause permanent psychological damage. Most people who use this drug have a bad time. To make matters worse, Flip and Flop's method of ingestion was to crush up the seeds and make tea out of them, which is the most dangerous method of ingestion that has led to the most hospitalizations and deaths. The comments section was filled with people warning him this is going to be much more than just your average trip, but he proceeded anyway. After grinding up 15 or 16 seeds, he made tea out of it and posted that he would update everyone in an hour or so. A bit of time passed, and people began to wonder how his trip was going. Eventually, he made a single comment on the thread that read, Google.com, how normal again, stop now. About 12 hours later, he made another comment on a thread on the gaming subreddit that said, Please, these big dog are fighting, nah, okay. He was clearly having a very scary experience and didn't seem to be coming down. After that, 
he never made another post again. Now, of course, this guy could have just been a troll. His account was made on the same day as this one and only post was made, and this is something that could have easily been faked. This really wouldn't surprise me, but on the off chance this was real, I genuinely feel bad for what he must have experienced. Around 2010, there was a user on Reddit by the name of Yay Video Games. He seemed like a pretty normal person, posting in video game subreddits pretty frequently. One day, someone made a post on the gaming subreddit, asking people about their favorite mods for a video game. Yay Video Games made this comment about the uninstall button not working, and someone responded clearly confused by this. Yay Video Games' next comment made even less sense, saying, the install button. The game is great. Ubisoft goes Steamworks. Bye bye. Always on DRM. But you oft go work. Always on work DR. Check out the junk it leaves behind in you. This was followed by Yay Video Games leaving incoherent messages like these in their replies. He made over 4,000 comments, all saying pretty much the same thing until his account was banned. Some of these comments included links that led to strange images, such as the phrase, Steamworks bye bye, always on DRM, scribbled onto a white background repeatedly, and other weird stuff like this. What makes this account particularly creepy is that up until this point, this guy was totally normal. The most popular theory is that one day he just lost his sanity, which resulted in this. If this particular account interests you, you can see a much more in depth video about this that was posted by Nexpo. I'll leave a link in the description. Those are all the creepy Reddit accounts I have for you today. If you know of any other anomalies like this, be sure to let me know, and maybe we could create a series out of this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.